12 Tips for Entrepreneurs to Succeed in Business What is more important to an entrepreneur or a business owner than to succeed in their business? However, running a business successfully isn't one of the easiest things to do. It takes a lot of hard work, patience, and commitment. You see, nearly every market is saturated, is high, which is why entrepreneurs constantly seek validation from influencers of different fields as a marketing strategy to attract potential clients to their business. However, the key to beating the competition and achieving success is mental, reflected in one's attitude, totally controlled by the individual and requires no cash. To become successful in business, it is important to understand that success is achieved only by committing to certain lifestyle changes. It is never an overnight result. It takes consistency and persistence, especially when the journey gets tough. Carl Hilton said, and I quote, Success seems to be connected with action. Successful people keep moving. They make mistakes, but they don't quit. Anyway, in this video, I'll share with you 12 tips for entrepreneurs to succeed in business. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Develop a strong work ethic Let's go back to your days of being an employee. Imagine if you had an employer that showed up at work around noon and barely spends two hours before leaving the office. All they do is leave certain instructions about what should be done and accomplished by the end of the day. In your opinion, do you think the business will become super successful if your employer continues that way? Being an entrepreneur doesn't mean working less. If anything, it means that you get to work more hours than you did working as an employee. If you want your business to be successful, you have to develop a good work ethic that the rest of your employees or team members can imbibe. Also, always remember that you are accountable to yourself. Hence, you have to be ready to work hard and most importantly, be ready for the responsibilities that come with the role. 2. Be passionate about your business Remember those days you called in sick all because you didn't feel like going to work and so you lied? Well, the truth is that there will be similar and even worse days when you'd feel like throwing everything out in the drain. It is on one of such days that you'll understand what it means to be passionate about your business. Your business should be something you enjoy doing, something that makes you happy whenever you think about it, so that you will be ready to do something that makes you happy whenever you think about it, so that you will be ready to do what it takes to make it work. Also, being passionate about your business will help you overcome difficult moments and persuade people to work for you and want to do business with you. 3. Plan properly Until you begin to put plans in place to help you achieve your goals, your goals are nothing but mere wishes. Adam Lakin, a well-known author on personal time management including how to gain control of your time and your life, once said, and I quote, Planning is bringing the future into the present so that you can do something about it now. Planning properly means setting step-by-step -step action plans to help you achieve your big goal. For instance, you say you want to build a house. You don't just run off to a site and start building whatever comes to mind, do you? No. The first thing you do is to prepare a plan that states how many bedrooms, kitchens, office space, bathrooms and everything else you want. Once you have that, you can now proceed to get a piece of land and then get the necessary materials needed for building. Brian Tracy, author and motivational speaker said, every minute you spend in planning saves 10 minutes in execution. This gives you a 1000% return on energy. 4. Get rid of a plan B mentality and choose to stay committed to success. The language of success is commitment. If you truly want to succeed, you will succeed. However, for that to happen, you must be ready to give 100%. When you get rid of a plan B option, you are telling yourself that failure is not an option. Of course, you are allowed to make mistakes. You are also allowed to re-strategize from time to time. But you are not allowed to give up because you are willing to give it all it takes to win as far as that business is concerned. Do you know what you stand to gain when you do not give yourself another option? Success! So, if you want your business to become successful, you need to start thinking and acting like one. For instance, where successful people say things like, I'm committed, unsuccessful people say, I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. Successful people say, I'm going to make this better. Unsuccessful people say, I hope things get better.
Decide that this is what you want and go for it with all dedication and commitment. Harry S. Truman said, and I quote, I studied the lives of great men and women, and I found that the men and women who got to the top were those who did the jobs they had in hand with everything they had in energy, in enthusiasm, and hard work. 5. Learn to sell and pitch. Every successful business owner knows how to sell. The first step to learning how to sell is to ensure that you are confident about your product. Also, you have to learn how to approach sales from a standpoint of being a facilitator to the sale rather than trying to force it down people's throat. If you are going to become a successful salesperson and record good sales in your business, then you must find out what people need and propose solutions that your business can help provide. 6. Learn how to market. Sales and marketing go hand in hand. However, they are two different things. Selling is about making a profit. One of the reasons you started your business in the first place is to make some money, right? Here's the thing. Even if you have the best product anyone can offer, if you do not know how to sell, then you may never make money. Marketing, on the other hand, is about presenting your audience with the value that your business stands to offer. You see, money is a valuable item, which means that people are generally are not going to exchange it for an item if they perceive that the item in question is not valuable to them or undervalued. So to make people buy whatever you are selling, you have to be able to show them, not try to convince them that it will be of great value to them. 7. Standardize your operations. For your business to become a success, your goal should be to build a business that can run independently of you. Otherwise, you've only succeeded in creating a job for yourself, not an organization. To achieve this, you have to develop standard operating procedures, SOPs, to ensure that staff and systems can run without supervision. Start by driving your business into various functions and then provide a step-by-step -step guide to help every unit function optimally. Delegate staff to the various units so you can focus on growing the business, instead of bugging yourself with the day-to-day -day activities of the business. 8. Improve your creativity. Regardless of your field and industry, you have to be creative and innovative to succeed. When you are creative, you'll succeed in your field because you'll keep finding new, simpler and even more fun ways to solve problems. 9. Be open and flexible. Be open to the fact that you might have to change your plans and strategies from time to time as long as you do not tamper with your core values. The world is evolving and so are your wants and needs. Hence, the need to find creative ways to solve people's problems. For instance, you can launch new products that will be valuable to your clients. 10. Learn to step out of your comfort zone from time to time to take risks. Taking risks is a major part of business. Otherwise, you wouldn't have started your business in the first place. Many innovations that will help your business succeed can be implemented only if you are willing to step out of your comfort zone. Susan Wojcicki, CEO of YouTube, once said that life doesn't always present you with a perfect opportunity at the perfect time. Opportunities come when you least expect them or when you're not ready for them. Rarely are opportunities perfectly presented to you in a nice little box with a yellow bow on top. Opportunities, the good ones, they're messy and confusing and hard to recognize. They're risky. They challenge you. 11. Learn how to manage fear. Fear is something every one of us experiences, especially when we are about to take a new role and responsibilities. We fear that we may fail and mess everything up. Guess what? It's okay to fail, but how you treat it is what matters. You learn from it and get better subsequent times. For instance, as a baby, you didn't learn how to walk the first time your feet touched the ground. There were lots of falling and rising until you got there was lots of falling and rising until you no longer fell or tripped over your face anymore. You could walk properly and not stagger. Now, imagine if you never attempted walking because you were scared to fall. That's crazy. I agree with you. So, while it's okay to be scared, it's not okay to let that fear take control over you. Learn to manage your fears if you want to become successful so that you can take risks and make big decisions that will affect your business positively. 12. Focus on getting better every day. Self-improvement and self-development are mandatory for success. Napoleon Hill, author of Think and Grow Rich said, and I quote, whatever the mind of a man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. According to Bruce Lee, a Hong Kong American actor, 
director and martial artist, what you habitually think largely determines what you will ultimately become. Success lies in your hands. So, stop leaving out what you want and you'll get it. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.